I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 10th of August. Yeah, hot weather rolls along, but tropics are heating up. Maybe a golf system brewing. Uh, let's take a look and talk about it. First off, some of the Skycam shots around the network today. We'll start with a view coming from Jasper from the top of the King Building. Looking generally back to the east, a few cumulus clouds in that hazy summer sky. Up north, the Tennessee River is seen from the sky cam up in Morgan County in Decatur. And how about the Gulf of Mexico? Nice shot there from the Phoenix All Suites. And everybody back in school and the uh, beaches are pretty uncrowded. In fact, it looks like you might have the whole place to yourself if you're down there today. And the weather down there uh, looks uh, looks good now, but our friends will be watching with interest developments in the Gulf. We don't think this will be a, a hurricane or a really dangerous storm. In fact, it should be one that produces maybe beneficial rain for parts of the southern states, as you'll see. Woo, buddy, it's hot. Temperature's up in the 90s. I believe this is the 37th consecutive day. Last time we had a high under 90 was the 4th of July. Goodness gracious. Tuscaloosa, 98. 97 for Birmingham and Gadsden hotspot, the Shoals at 99. And around the nation, the heat peaks again over Oklahoma and Kansas, where they've got triple digits out there, but it's hot all the way from Texas to the South Atlantic coast. Cooling showers? Eh, not many today. Uh, that's the radar about 2.30. Uh, got a few showers up in uh, northwest Alabama's Winston, Lawrence, Franklin, and Marion counties, and uh, one down in Hale County, and just not that many. We'll maintain the chance of isolated storms this evening, but obviously a lot of folks are not going to get wet. Convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. The risks are way up north, as you might expect. And the QPF chart. Hey, numbers are coming up. We'll take that. Uh, that's suggesting much of Alabama getting one inch of rain. And look at Gulf Shores, four inches of rain down there. Valid through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. And, of course, it's not going to be continuous if you've got a beach trip coming up but no doubt with the tropical system brewing there certainly could be some generous rains down there speaking of that one two three on the board now a uh, wave out there in the atlantic approaching the islands we'll keep an eye on that the upper winds are fairly harsh for now we've still got the uh, system out there in the middle atlantic that could develop into a tropical system. That's going to recurve out into the open Atlantic, no threat to land. The one we are focused on is this one in the Gulf. That's a 70% chance of developing. And again, you can see at this point, it is relatively disorganized. But uh, the upper winds seem to be somewhat favorable for development here. Here's a look at the surface analysis coming off the rock this afternoon. Uh, the pressure still analyzed at 1,010 millibars. Uh, the thing drifting slowly to the west, it's now uh, about 100 miles, maybe 200 miles uh, west of Fort Myers and uh, northwest of Key West in the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. And you can see most of the uh, rain with that feature is on that wet side, the east side. In fact, there's the radar coming from Key West. been pouring down there for days. Uh, tropical rains down in Miami, Homestead, Fort Myers. All right, models doing the hokey pokey here, a little shifting around. Uh, this run, they've shifted back to the left, to the west. Uh, the runs we showed you early this morning, it shifted back to the right. Still, one way or the other, we are going to be on that wet, moist east side of the circulation, we believe. The models want to bring it up toward uh, southeast Louisiana Thursday evening with a gradual recurve to the northeast over north Mississippi, maybe clipping northwest Alabama and western Tennessee. Remember, this is going to be a broad system. You know, there's no, no, no point in focusing on a line. Uh, but again, with the inherent increase in moisture, no doubt we should see a pretty good increase in the number of showers and storms late this week, and we'll sure take that. The intensity schemes, most models ramp this up to a tropical storm. Will this be Danielle, Earl, Kind of depends on how our other system in the Atlantic does. We'll see. But uh, uh, a reasonable chance this will be a tropical storm at the time of landfall later this week. One model brings it up to a minimal hurricane, but uh, more than likely the main impact will be a rain producer. And again, that's good. We need it. Let's check the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow at 500 millibars. 
Still, uh, we've got the 594 Ridge around, but the heights are coming down a little bit down below that. I don't think tomorrow is going to be a lot different than today. Mid to upper 90s, hot, steamy, isolated storms. A lot of moisture in the Gulf. Thursday, the GFS does not want to develop this thing. Most of the good tropical models do. So again, I don't think this will be especially helpful. Uh, there's a look at Friday. Uh, there's a general increase in moisture, and there's Saturday. Uh, but understand, in this time frame, Thursday night, Friday, there's a real chance a tropical storm could make landfall around the mouth of the Mississippi, curving up north and northeast. And again, we'll certainly begin to increase the chance of showers and storms out there Friday and Saturday. How much rain kind of depends on the structure of this thing, with heat levels slowly coming down. And then Sunday... The core of the heat begins to be a squeeze back off to the west with a trough to the north, thinning down the ridge. Got a surface front coming in from the north. That looks pretty wet, doesn't it? Uh, with the surface boundary coming in, a very uh, uh, deep moisture from the tropics. And Monday, the front gets down to about the shoals and stops, and I think that's much more realistic. A little surface low tries to form on that front, and that could be relatively wet. So certainly, rain opportunities going up, and there's Tuesday of next week still awfully moist Let's check the end of the forecast, August 26th. Well, I guarantee you with that look, there'll be no cold front coming through here. Uh, the westerlies way up there in Canada, and again, that looks kind of standard there for late August. Hot, muggy, steamy with a few scattered storms. No tropical system, by the way, showing up uh, on this run out there in the longer ranges. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.